Control Priest is actually a pretty good control deck right now, so if you enjoy that playstyle, this might be the deck for you. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this playstyle, but I did it for the content, and I gotta say, it was actually somewhat enjoyable. In this video, I will give you a quick guide about the deck, show you its mulligans and win rates, as well as some of my games on my road to top 200 legend with it. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget you can hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now, let's check out the deck. Prepared. This is the variant I used, and I made one change from the classic list I saw from HS Replay, and what I did is I took out one hipster, so I have one Harvester of Envy. Which can give you some good game plans against very unfavorable matchups like let's say Spell DH, or even Tony Druid. But other than that, the deck is one of the best performers for the class right now. We have a couple of really good one drops with Armor Vendor, which gives you a lot of armor, and Psychic Conjurer, with which you can get extra copies from opponent cards. Obviously Shard of the Naru is great, because Silence is very valuable for you, and it's also a tradable, so no harm in top decking it. Sir Finley, so you can fish for your really good removals when you really need them. The Lighted Burns is just an extremely good one-drop heavy removal. Astalor is a no-questions-asked card nowadays in any control deck, basically. We have a couple of Dirty Rats in here, so you can fish out good stuff from the opponent, but definitely be careful tempoing this out on turn 2, if you don't have a good removal plan for it. With the Hipster you can get some extra stuff from the opponent's class again. We have a couple of Mind Eaters, which is same idea with the Psychic Conjurer. And they're both undeads, which is nice for things like your Nerubian Vizier. With Power Cord, you can have some nice buff with it, and also copy your own stuff, but you can even use it on the opponent's minions. And if you don't use it as a finale, it doesn't give them the buff. So you can just copy something important from the opponent so you can use it against them, and you can even actually steal it like that with the Harvester of Envy, if you know they have another copy of that card. The location is pretty nice in here, because the stats help you fight for the board early with your good early game minions, but it also gives you a nice little chunk of card draw, which is always nice. Identity Theft gives you a couple of cards from the opponent, but it also gives you a ton of information, because you get to see three of the opponent's card in hand, and also three of the cards they haven't top decked yet, which are still in their deck, so definitely don't ignore that information you're getting and try to use it against them. Love Everlasting is pretty good in the deck and it helps you play out the Sisters Fauna spells a lot more easily later on, and that's really good against slow matchups for instance. Nerubian Vizier can give you some good discounts with the help of your early game undeads, but even just playing it on tempo is still pretty good. With the Harvester of Envy, like I said, it gives you an extra game plan to steal opponent stuff. Cannibalize is an extremely good heal, which not only heals you, but also all of your minions, so if you manage to make some good value trades, you can also use it to heal them back up. But you can also use this on your own things, and that still is gonna heal your face nicely. And it's actually a pretty viable game plan against things like Spell the Age, so you don't give them a tall target for them to brand on. We also have ETC Band Manager in here, and the cards I used in this one were Steam Cleaner, so you can destroy the Spell the Age cards. Or even Riven there like that. And we also run Riven there too. And we also have Teotar, so you can poach some stuff from the opponent. And Riven there is in here for the slow matchups. School teachers give you nice discovers. Clean the scene is also extremely good removal for you. And you can either use it for only 3 damage or less, or you can infuse it up to 6 damage or less, which is also pretty nice. With Queen Ashar, you can definitely be very proactive, and slapping a fast Colossal as soon as turn 5 or 6 can be extremely good. Harmonic Pop is very good removal for you, and it can be either 3 damage AoE with a 6-6, six, six, or vice versa, 6 damage AoE with a 3-3. Free, free. Sister's Fauna makes sure you never run out of gas, especially against the slow matchups. Blackwater Behemoth can be extremely good, and it basically is game over for the aggressive matchups when this falls as soon as turn 6 or 7. And don't forget this actually needs to have a minion on the board for it to actually force it to attack into it, and it's not gonna be attacking face, so for anybody wondering, no, it's not gonna do that. And we also have a couple of Whirlpools, which can also be pretty good, because not only do they remove the board stuff, but they also remove the cards from the opponent's hand if he has extra copies of those, or their deck. And you can even actually use Queen of Shara to get a copy of your next spell, so that way you get to change two Whirlpools, one after the other, and that's usually enough for most aggro decks. For the matchups, here's what the classic list shows, and as you can see, Tony Druid is gonna be one of your worst matchups, but also Big DH, Relic Demon Hunter, and Spell DH can be extremely bad for you as well. Other than that, Mages can be somewhat of a problem, but you are gonna see in one of the games we actually had a pretty easy time against them, but the rest is pretty green. 
For the mulligan, here's what it looks like going first, and location is always gonna be great. Astlor seems like an okay keep as well, even though I really don't like keeping it too much. Psych Conjurer is pretty nice, depending on the matchup, Shard of the Naru can also be great. Nerubian Vizier is also pretty good. Love Everlasting feels a bit too high on the keep list, honestly, because a lot of the times you don't really have spells you want to be playing super early. But on the other hand, it does allow you to make pretty good removals very fast. Like if you do this on turn 3, you could follow up with a turn 4 Harmonic Pop, which can be insanely good. School Teacher can also be pretty good for some discovers, Mind Eater as well, and Armor Vendor is also a pretty nice thing to be keeping. Lighted Burns, again, depending on the matchup, could be great. And when going second, Love Everlasting becomes even more keepable. Location is great still. Armor Vendor, even Behemoth becomes a bit more keepable because you get to coin it out on 6, but you don't really keep it too often. Psych Conjurer can be great still. Silence. The Lighted Burns is still extremely good. And Harmonic Pop can also make sense. And I'd also be keeping Mind Eater most times. Queen of Shara becomes a lot more keepable here as well, because with the help of the coin you can do a Colossal as soon as turn 5, which can be great. And also Vizier is not horrible. But yeah, all around that's it for the deck. It's far from cheap, and it's far from fast, so if you enjoy the control playstyle, again, you might want to give it a check. And now, let's check out some of my games with it. Hope you enjoy. Still in Bulgaria, bro. Can't complain. Also busy as fuck. Mostly. But in a good way. Okay, location's great, cannibalize, might be worth. It's not something I generally keep going first though. Sure, let's go like this I guess. Okay, this could be good. I'm gonna hold to the silence. Really hope I don't pull a 7-7 seven, seven or a 5-5 five, five with this shit. Would be a damn shame. Oh, mistake. So that's Mech Pally. Well, the silence is gonna be important then. And I'm not playing Dirty Rap, that's for sure. This could help. Some card drug going like this. Keep it real. Stop giving me dirty rats, man. You're trying to fuck me with them, don't you? Yeah, I'm death knight real strong right now. Got a lot of death knights out there. Really not happy leaving that like this. Do I just silence it right now? <laughs> Go play Tetris. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Would be nice if I get the destroy three or less. Out. 
Okay, the skull, you know, is going to be cute, but uh, clear the scene is just the obvious choice here in it. Infuse free. So. Should I just tempo a red then? Right. Acceptable. Break it, you buy it. Prepared. Cool. I'm blind. Perfect, actually. Oh, he's gonna be left with a bunch of one ones. Am I okay with that? I guess. Whirlpool is going to be nice and good real soon. Real soon. Did I just pull with the dirty rat still? I think I will. Nothing. Another Whirlpool. Should I just give it Seal of Blood? Maybe I will. Okay. I think the problem with card games is that they're just generally more expensive than your normal type of games. But uh, for some reason they're successful and... Don't blame the, the games, blame the players at this point honestly, because they wouldn't be doing it if the players weren't paying and... We are. We are, aren't we? Okay... Need out. Taunt minions in the way. Okay, we also sniped something from his hand. Take those any day. Well, looks like he is all in it, chat. He is all in it. I think I can slow roll this. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Of 
Problem is, if this kills the free two, I'm screwed. Am I though? Basically, at max health, fuck it. Oh yeah, that's something that doesn't really happen every day though. They really don't give that too often. Huh? Well, I guess it's gonna have to be another whirlpool though. When you put it that way. Well, flawless victory, but that's kind of the point. Okay, maybe I haven't. Hey, happy to, happy to hear, PM. Okay, this should be a good matchup for us. That's not the worst card I've seen. Nope, not running the heal location in this one. Let's do this. Might actually steal some stuff with this bad boy. Identity theft never hurt nobody except this guy. Have some hand size problems real soon. Vampiric blood, you say? Should I just take the weapon and play it right now, though? Could also straight up steal his vampiric blood soon. I think I'll take the Ripper now. Okay. Stealing his ETC makes sense to me. It's kind of an empty card though. Yep, it can. Okay. Kinda having a bit too much. Value right now, aren't I? <laughs> Yikes, I fix you. Okay. That is a very nice no muncher, not gonna lie. Do I coin him out? Sure. Easy. 
Okay, it would have been nice to get a copy of that, I'm not gonna lie. Next chunk you can go with the eight. damage basically playing his stuff mm -hmm. nice top deck bro of the top people that's behemoth It's probably gonna play Teal Thor there. Soon. Should I destroy his Finley? Mm. And destroy his Ast Lord out. Okay. I don't know, boy, you tell me. Okay. Could steal back his Teotar. Oh, Ghosts were Riven there. Fascinating, I guess. That silence would have been nice now, wouldn't it? Might discover one. The more you struggle, the better. Okay. Sure. Could also actually just steal it. Maybe I just steal it, why wouldn't I? Why would I not steal that right now? Looks very stealable to me. Come on, share. It's a lovely win condition you got there. Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. What? Oh, he doesn't want me to destroy it. Okay, kind of sir. What was the point in that? Oh, for the infuse, okay. Fascinating. Sure. Steel Wars. Bye. Okay. 
He doesn't like it. He's giving it the good old go. Sure, man. Got war more where that came from. This. Yes, I can also discover here. My blood for the Lich King. These are all stupid. Is blood tap ever considerable here? Decent is a big word, but uh, acceptable, I guess. Sure, let's make this one big. I was thinking about making the other one bigger. Can actually discover his rhythm there. Like this again. I don't think he's ever gonna build a blood boil board anymore. Well, soul stealer is decent. Can pull some trash out. Let's make this trade first, then try to pull some shit. That's not a bad pull. Okay. He's running on fumes. You now he has blood boil in there. That's stupid to have right now. If I play this right now and he kills this 2 free, I'm gonna burn a card, I guess. Maybe I just go for Gigafin anyway, honestly. It's still a lot of tempo, he has to clear it, and if he doesn't, I ask more for 14. I mean, he doesn't have a clear plus refill, which he... The only way would be with the, another 8 mana soul stealer. This is pretty good for me. Yeah, GG exact. Nice effort. That was a fun game. Give it the good old go. I entirely missed the party mode there, didn't I? There you go. Party. Against the mage. Another known bad matchup for me. Totally missed it. Okay, so... uh Burn Mage and Spocky Mage are in the negative for me. Go 
like this perhaps. Well, Tony Druid is also bad now. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we're tempoing out, chat. Mm, the thing is, Tony is too fast, I think. He broke it. Okay, good to know. Should I take the Devborn? We know he has it, so as soon as he doesn't do it, we can do it as well. Cosmic Keyboard, perhaps? Hmm. I think we take the spell right now. We're kind of low on the spell area. Another Queen Ashara. Arcane Artificer is interesting, but can't say no to another Queen Ashara, I think. If I make the trade, he's not going to have a target to freeze, but uh, he's just going to freeze something else later. Hmm. Make the trade. Maybe I should have just left it just because if he throws it, I could have given it the stats. Okay, he was gonna have another freezer. Do I just clear the scene here? I think I will. Maybe I should have used the location on his shit. If he's running Keltazad, that means he's running the Grand Magister Roma variant. Also with the Blizzard, yeah, I'm seeing it. Infinitized to the Maxitudes. Yeah, he is supposed to be favored against me. Exactly. Exactly. 
That's the thing, though. People are complaining control doesn't exist. But there else, but other people are complaining games are too slow. And yeah, in order for control to somewhat exist, and games don't feel super slow, control actually now has win conditions too. Not just attrition anymore. Can copy that. If I play this and the Colossal, though, I won't be able to copy. Let's see what's in here. Cute. Can use that with Blizzard later. But I can just temple it out right now and heal Ashara and then copy. Can you feel the cold of death Okay. Right now it's uh, good again, Ephyxia, what do you mean? It was not amazing in the first few days, but after that it picked up again. Mm, feel like it's a more of a top 1k legend kind of deal, Mr. Piggy. It's also a pretty, pretty complicated deck to really pilot optimally, so keep that in mind as well. That's making some odd choices. And that is very sad for him here. Didn't attack with the skeleton? Oh, not that. Well, I can just blizzard this and everything dies. I should have played Astalor first though. It would have been good for me to for it to get sniped. I have two more Asharas, man. Two more freaking Asharas, dude. Yikes. Surely he's gonna have solid alibi, right? Right? Did get chat. Okay, well, best I can do is set up lethal with Astalor, I think. Anything else? Can't really heal these dudes. Oh, is this giving me some good heal? Okay. Just trade this. <laughs> it's 
Sucky. I used to jam some arenas uh, with a colleague my, of mine. He used to jump by the stream often as well. Svetlo. Or uh, Sveto, I think. Was the Twitch nick. But uh, yeah, sometimes. Okay. Well, plays around the ass. Should have played around the Devborn though. Let's do that then. Two can play at that game. Play this, I guess. Hey, how's it going, Shorzy? Climbing slowly. He's very close to Pepsi from Astalor here. He cannot deny me too much. Surely there's going to be an objection in there, right? Either way, I don't think I need to risk it. Oh, and I don't need to. Thanks, game. He figured it out. He figured it out, chat. Cool! Alrighty. Okay, I think uh, we played enough Control Priests.